Hello, hello! Thank you for joining me today. This video is the February Makeup Basket for 2021, and these are all the products I was working with in January. If you remember my last video, I did a little bit of a reconstruction of how I organize my everyday makeup drawer. I do have my everyday, like, concealer and liners and stuff like that over here and then I have like some tools a sharpener something to hold my hair back my lash curler over here I have stuff currently in project pans or just stuff that I'm in the process of using up and then this middle box right here is new things that I want to play with for that month so these were all new makeup that I brought in that I wanted to play around with for the most part everything in here I'm still working on these are my palettes for my pan those eyeshadows project I have a highlighter and a blush here in my project pan. Same with these this bronzer here. I have this little mini Bare Minerals mineral veil, if you can see, and I'm just in the process of finishing up. So I have it in this mini Besame container. Last month I had a lipstick in here that I was using up as a cream blush, but I did finish it, so now I just have mineral veil in there. That, I imagine, will be gone next month, and I'll be using something else to set my under eyes. Let's talk about some products that I used up. I actually had a really great month, and I was able to move out a lot of products in my collection. The first one is this Besame under eye setting powder here. This is the violet version. They don't sell it anymore on the website, but I do I think they're going to start selling a pressed powder version of this, which I will consider picking up in the future. I finished a highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. This is all gone. I also finished this powder foundation from NYX, the Stay Matte but Not Flat. I'm in the shade Nude 02. This one is gone as well. That cream lipstick I was talking about earlier, this is the one. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. If you can see, I did dig out everything I could out of the container, and I used the rest of it as a cream blush to finish it. I have this mini highlighter here from Cover Effects in the shade Moonlight. This one is empty as well. And surprisingly, I finished a lip gloss. This is a mini Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Fearless. I did take out the stopper, and it gave me, like, I don't know, three more uses before that part was gone too, so I don't know if it's worth taking the stopper out. <laughs> but this was really nice, and I'm glad I have three more minis from this formula to play with. And I just saw that Tower 28 came out with milky versions of these, where they're not just clear lip glosses, they have a little bit of a milkiness to them. Very, very curious to try that out. <laughs> so now let's talk about these new products. Um, I did play around with these Flower Beauty products here. I have a blush in the shade Spiced Petal, and this is just a really beautiful nude blush. I did reach for this a handful of times, and I really liked it. I also started using this Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze in the shade Stunner. I originally didn't like it when I was just patting it on top of foundation, but I actually really love it as a mixer with bullet and liquid lipsticks to create cream blushes. So that's why you're seeing so much pan over here. I just take the end of my tweezers and take out a little bit to mix with the uh, blush that I'm using. So I actually am going to move this over here. I'm not trying to paint it necessarily, but I do think it's going to become a little bit of a staple in my collection for the time being. Same with this Flower Beauty Color Corrector. This is in the shade Light Peach. I have been using this pretty regularly as well and really liking it, so I'm going to put this over in my everyday portion of my drawer. And this last one from Flower Beauty is one of their lipsticks. It's in the shade Naked Blush. I ordered it over the holidays. When it got to me, it smelled really bad and it tasted bad too, which is not something I experience often with lipsticks. So I sent an email to Flower Beauty and they sent a replacement. This one is the replacement. Um, I've been using it as a cream blush and really loving it, and I do use it on my lips occasionally, but it still has a weird smell to me, and also the formula isn't the best. Some people told me in my last shot my stash video that the formula felt kind of waxy, like it just sits on your lips and fills in the lines without actually feeling creamy on the lips, and I agree. I'm not really a fan of this. Part of me thinks I should just get rid of it, but it's not like I'm going to give it to anybody, so I would just be throwing it away. And part of me feels like maybe I should save it and use it as a cream blush. But I have so many liquid lipsticks already that I plan on using as a cream blush that I don't even know when I'll get around to this. So I'll hold on to it for a little bit longer, but I'm just not really sure what to do with it. I don't want to waste it because I do really like the color a lot, but I don't know. This Just a Tint Lippy Stick from ColourPop is actually in my Partners in Cream Project Pan, so I'm going to move it over to this portion of the drawer. I have been trying this Catrice Fresh It Up Hydrating Primer and really liking it. I've been using it after moisturizer underneath my foundation, and I've been liking how it makes my foundation look. It makes it look a little bit more lifelike. I don't think it's the most necessary thing in my collection, but it has renewed my excitement about 
primers, especially hydrating primers. I ended up putting this in a project pan, so I'm moving it over to this portion of my drawer. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer to finish up. And I think I might try some more like glowy hydrating primers in the future. Definitely drugstore ones. I don't feel like I need to spend a ton of money on that. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. With this Born to Glow highlighter from NYX, this is the pinkier version. It's in the shade Sunbeam. I've been using this to mix in with my foundations to make them a little bit more lifelike and really liking it for that. So I'm going to keep it in my drawer for another month. I did try mixing this in with liquid lipsticks to make a cream blush with a little bit of a highlight and I didn't think it mixed well with them at all or bullet lipsticks either. It's just something in the consistency isn't the best mixer for that but it's great to mix in with foundation so I'm going to hold on to this for another month. This is a single shadow from Essence. It's in the shade Zinc About You. It's a really beautiful like a mauve shimmer shade and I did reach for this a number of times, so I'm going to put this back. I just really wanted to make sure I didn't forget about it. I have this mini highlighter from Becca here. It's in the shade Rose Quartz. It's beautiful. I really enjoyed reaching for this, so I'm going to put it back and maybe grab for one of the other Becca minis that I have. And the last product from that section of the drawer is the Magic Mini from Juvia's Place. I did reach for this for a couple times to make looks. I did also do a eyeshadow bingo video featuring all my Juvia's Place shadows. I really like how that look turned out. It was very colorful but still very wearable. So I'll link that in the cards if you're curious to see how that look turned out. But I am going to put it back and play with some other shadows from my collection. Now let's go into my makeup drawers, pull out some new products to play with, and then we'll come back and see how it all looks together for February. Alright, in drawer number one we have some of my larger eyeshadow palettes. I do want to pull out this Too Faced Bon Bons palette just because I don't really have any shadows to set my eyeshadow primer right now, so I think I'm going to pull it out just so I can maybe get some more use on Divinity, maybe finish the shadow at some point, I don't know. And I've also been thinking a lot about this Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain. I've been wanting to pull for it and I just have been focusing on other shadows, so I'm going to pull this one out and play with it a little bit. I kind of want to do something with that Royal Highness shade. Now let's go into my other drawers. I have quite a few drawers with eyeshadow palettes. I do want to pull for this Sultry palette. I've been thinking about this one a lot too, especially since it did come back in stock and it's now on sale. I think you can get a set of this and like a mascara, a liner, and something else. I think the eyeshadow primer for like 30 bucks. If that's still on the Ulta website, I'll link it below, but that's a pretty good deal. And I just want to play around with these shades some more. I do think I want to play around with this Birch shade and definitely with Cyborg and maybe Rose Quartz. So this is definitely I'm going to pull out for this month. Maybe I can create a look with Slate and Cyborg and create like a silvery cool tone look. Third drawer, more eyeshadow palettes if you can believe. <laughs> I don't really think there's anything from here that I want to pull right now. Yeah, I think for this drawer I'm good. I'm not going to pull anything out. And then my fourth drawer is like singles and some other miscellaneous things. Um, I am in the process of finishing up the two mini mascaras that I have, so I'm going to pull this Warrior Princess Mascara out. I do have a full face of Flower Beauty video coming up later this week, I think on the 7th, so you'll see this in action then, and this will be my next mascara I use once the other ones are almost finished, which I think is going to be pretty soon. Other than that, I think I'm good for this drawer as well. I have three palettes that I'm going to play with, so I don't think I need to pull anything else out. So now let's move on to the highlighter drawer. Like I said, I did want to pull out another one of those Becca minis. I'm not sure if I want to pull out Champagne Pop or Vanilla Quartz. So this is Vanilla Quartz. This is Champagne Pop. I think Champagne Pop might be just the slightest bit too deep for me right now, so I think I'm going to try out Vanilla Quartz. I also want to play with this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm not entirely sure, but I do think I might end up wearing this on my wedding day just because I don't want anything too stripey or too light, like I don't want anything to be icy on my cheeks. So I think I might go for something like this, especially since throughout the night I'm going to be like running around and dancing and stuff, so I'll probably be dewy enough on my own accord. I don't need a ton of highlighter to do that for me. And I do think I will do a video later on about what makeup I'm going to wear for my wedding day, because I'm doing my own makeup. It's just not going to be for a while. My wedding isn't for a while, so we have plenty of time. Also this little mini Benefit highlighter, it's the What's Up. I just use this like on my cheekbones underneath foundation for a little bit more glow. So I think I'm going to continue using it like that and put it in my drawer. I feel guilty about not using these ABH 
highlighters from the Gleam Glow Kit. I need to remember to pull for these more. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful formula. It is a little bit big for my everyday makeup drawer, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to grab this too. I think we've grabbed plenty of highlighters to play with, so I'm going to close this drawer. <laughs> All right, the next drawer is my bronzers on this side and my blushes on this side. I do want to pull out these two. This is a liquid lipstick that's too old, so I don't use it on my lips anymore. I use it as a cream blush. So I'm going to pull this one out since I finished my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip bullet lipstick that I was using as a cream blush. That one's finished, so I'll move on to this one. And I also want to play around with this one too. Maybe even consider mixing these two together to see what kind of color I get. This one's kind of like a peachy color similar to Luminoso from Milani. And I do like to mix these more pigmented lip products before I put them on the cheeks just because I find that they can be a little bit too pigmented for what I want. So I like to mix them with either highlighters or other products that are more glowy and less pigmented. I don't find that this has a lot of pigment on its own, but I do love the glow of this. So I'm going to put these together. And if I didn't say, this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Peachgasm. I do want to pull out this Essence blush as well. This is in the shade Blooming, and it's a very, very, very light pink color. Kind of reminds me of, like, Dandelion from Benefit Cosmetics. I do want to grab for this, see what it looks like on its own, see what it looks like mixed with more pigmented blushes. So I might pull other blushes in as I see fit, but I definitely want to focus on this a little bit. As for bronzer, I do have a project pan where I'm working on the cover effects and the butter bronzer. I mix those two together and I press them into a larger pan. I am trying to use that up, but I do want to pull for other bronzers just to change it up a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'll pull this one out. This isn't a Too Faced bronzer. This is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow Bronzer. I pressed it into this pan just because it was getting a little bit difficult to get enough product on my brush when it was in the original Charlotte Tilbury packaging. So I'm gonna reach for this a couple times too, just to make sure this is getting love. I wanna finish this one this year as well, so I don't feel like it's really taking away from my Project Pran bronzer because this will eventually get rolled in too. I think that's everything for this drawer. The next drawer is complexion products. Really quickly, I wanna to talk to you about the foundations that I'm working on right now. I do have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in my Project Pan currently, so I am gonna keep this out and continue working on it. And I have this foundation here from Pure Cosmetics. It's the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This one is almost done. I took the stopper out and I just have been sitting it upside down in the lid <laughs> so that I can get every little bit out. I think it has like one or two uses left before it's gone. So I'm gonna finish this one up, hopefully have this as an empty in my next Shot My Stash video. And once that one is done, I think I'm gonna pull out this Kevin Aquan one. This is the Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX03. I think this will be a great mixer with my Urban Decay foundation just because it's very pigmented. You only need a little bit of it and I think it'll mix great with that Urban Decay foundation to create a more natural finish. As for powder, I am working on the Ethereal Setting Powder by Too Faced, but I also want to pull out this Cover Effects Powder as well. I don't have a ton left of this. If you can see, I have like a fourth of it left, and so I would like to just finish this and have another empty to share with you next month. And then once that one's gone, I will continue to focus on the Ethereal Setting Powder. For setting sprays, I'm still working on this e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set, and I'm also using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I just use this to wet my eyeshadows. But when I do want to make sure that my makeup lasts a little bit longer, I do want to pull out a more effective setting powder that does do something for oil control. So I'm going to pull out the Flower Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray, the mattifying version. I'll reach for this whenever I do want my makeup to last longer. Longer. I am currently working on the Cover FX Concealer right now in my Project Pan, and I don't know if that'll be done in the next month necessarily, but I do want to play with some of my other concealers. One that I definitely want to start working on is this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm in the shade Almond, which is a tad bit yellow, and it is a more high coverage concealer. It, it's not cakey by any means, but because it is so yellow, like it looks yellow under my under eyes. So I'm going to pull out this Hyaluronic Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. This is in the shade Light 40N. This is a little bit more neutral toned, and it is a little bit more lightweight. So I'm going to mix these together and see if I can create a combination that works better for me, and then maybe if it does work well, then after I finish the Cover FX Concealer, I can start working on these as a combo. I think that's everything for complexion products. Now let's move to my last drawer, which is lip products. 
All right, so I do have some products in here that I have in a current project pan. For example, I have this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Bath in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm gonna focus on this one. I'm working on two lip pencils, one in the shade Bed Rose by NYX, which is a darker pink, and then Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, which is like a nude color. And so I'm not gonna pull out any more lip pencils, but I am gonna pull out this gloss here from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Pink Parade. This has a little bit of like a blue shift to it, kind of like a glitter, and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like that or not. So I wanna test this out and see if I can make it work or find a way to really like how it looks. I haven't worn it on my lips yet, so I don't even know. And also just get better acquainted with the Marc Jacobs lip gloss formula in general. So definitely pulling this out for February. I might, I might pull a random lipstick here or there to finish off a look, but I think that's good for now. I think I have plenty of products to play with. Now let's move over to my makeup drawer again. I'll put everything in its place get it all nice and organized, and then we can look at everything I'm playing with in February. Okay, so it's not as neat and nice as it looked last month. I feel like I didn't pull out as many products and so it looked a little bit more organized, but that's just gonna have to do. I might move some of these over to here, depending on um, how well it sits. I might move some things around throughout the month to make them easier to see everything, but yeah, I feel like I have a lot of really fun things to play with. Once I use them a couple times and I feel like I've gotten a good feel for them, I do put them back in my makeup basket so it's not like fully cluttered all month long. So as I work through some of these things, I will put them back and make room. Are you liking this new setup that I have where I have like newer products in the middle, your staple products that kind of stay in multiple months at a time over on this side, and then like other more practical things over there? And I'd also like to know who out there does makeup basket videos and shop my stash videos that are really helpful, like that are really well set up and really well organized, because I feel like I'm always trying new things and I'm never really getting it perfectly right. <laughs> Anyway, in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.